Vital, now in a brand new pack. If you have a phone handy, grab it because we're about to do a memory test. I'm going to flash eight numbers up on your screen. Try to remember them and their sequence as best you can. And as soon as the last number has disappeared, key in those numbers on your phone and we'll compare and see how many you remembered correctly. You ready? Here goes. Your numbers are starting now. Go for it, guys. All right, now here are the numbers in sequence. Let's see how you did. All right. Audience, good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> Most people are able to remember six to ten numbers in a row, and although this is a rough test, if you've got less than that, there's a likelihood that your brain is not in as good a shape as it could be. The good news, though, is that it's never too late to kickstart your brain again. There's lots we can do to prevent memory loss and to improve concentration and alertness, and the best place to start is eating right. And Andrea, whenever we talk about alertness, the first thing that comes to mind is obviously caffeine. Well, caffeine is such a well-known stimulant and research has shown that it increases alertness levels. A very recent study has shown that drinking coffee could delay or even prevent Alzheimer's disease. It was published in June and they conclude that moderate daily consumption of caffeinated coffee appears to be the best dietary option for long-term protection against Alzheimer's memory loss. Who would have thought, huh? But how mm. much caffeine can we have safely on a daily basis? It's so interesting. I mean, um, studies show that one up to three cups of coffee a day seems to have great benefit. Right. If we have too much, though, say more than six cups of coffee, strong coffee per day, um, that amount of caffeine may make you feel a bit jittery and in the long run actually overstimulate your nervous system and interfere with memory and concentration. What about ginseng and uh, ginkgo biloba? I mean, that for many years people have talked about memory and concentration and espoused their effects. The Chinese certainly have and done it to great effect. Is there any science behind it? Yes, in fact, um, ginkgo biloba is an interesting one because research has shown how ginkgo biloba specifically can help with age-related memory loss um, because it helps optimize blood flow to the brain. And then the other one, ginseng, is such a well-known stimulant. I mean, these days you find it in all sorts of multivitamins yeah. because it has that energy-boosting effect. Now, mm. I'm looking at what you've laid out once again on the table and it goes without saying that you don't want to stimulate your brain and enhance your concentration at the end of the day. You want to do at the beginning of the day, which makes breakfast like the brain box's meal of the day, not so. Absolutely. You know, if we start with eggs, I mean, um, they're rich in lecithin, a very important component of our brain and nerve cells, okay. and that with a slice of whole grain bread, perfect, because that's rich in B vitamins, important for your nervous system. Muesli, yogurt, fruit, I mean, this is all great. A low GI muesli, excellent to help with that sustained energy release. Okay. And then with that, I would definitely add some berries. All right. This is great. It's always a, a good breakfast option. And there's always salmon. There's always salmon on the table yes. somewhere, hey? With brain health and memory and concentration, omega-3 fatty acids, very important to healthy fats from foods. Also avocado, important. So I think that gives a balanced outlook on the nutrients we can add to our breakfast. So what you're saying, Andrea, is this could be seen as the ultimate breakfast, the breakfast of champions. It's good for your heart, it's good for your head and for your whole being. And you know what? There's more. Justine has also got some eggs on her plate. At least they're not on her face. Vital, now in a brand new pack.